Okay, so here's an, a little in-between video to create um, the bolts. I'm not creating the holes in there, I'm creating five bolts and um, the little vent down here. So let's do that um, just for um, for sake of visualization. Um, open the hypershade and drop that Lambert back onto the rim so that we can see better what's going on. All right, so now let's create um, is a polygon cylinder here. Um, rotate that 90 degrees. And now let's uh, bring this out here to, let's say, okay, we wanna scale it down in this way. And what we don't need is um, the face uh, on the back side. So let me select the faces here on the back side and delete those. Okay, so now let's select the front faces. Use my paint select tool. Um, I want to select the faces. Okay, so again, right click and then say face. Now go to extrude. Uh, scale the extrusion in to somewhere about here. Uh, and now hit uh, G to repeat the last and uh, bring that in somewhere about here uh, and now let's uh, add a few cuts here one here one on the inside and one down there and maybe we want to put another one here and say okay hit smooth or uh, three on the keyboard go to object mode so okay so now let's bring this into a position uh, okay, so let's. Um, I've got um, uh, this X ray button here, so if you're wondering why well, it looks kind of weird here. Okay, so let's check that out. Move that in. Yeah, I might want to scale it down a little bit more. Okay, now I'll say bring that down and bring that in yeah it's not perfect but that should work maybe move it down just a tiny bit okay so um, if you want to give it more definition, I mean, that's some, something you won't see uh, uh, that much, but uh, just uh, let's try to do this. Um, just um, select go to face mode and say, okay, we want to select two faces, sh shift select that, then uh, two faces here, two faces here, two here, and the, finally the last two. So. Okay, so now let's uh, extrude those out. Go to extrude and bring that in here. And yeah. So now let's uh, smooth uh, that. It's looking not perfect, but okay, let's um, put in another edge loop here, one down there hit three so there you go I mean like I said before this is something that you don't see that much but let's I leave it uh, for now as it is so now let's uh, copy that over four times so to do this um, I want to hit Control G to group, so the a new group um, puts the pivot automatically to the center of the grid and now let's um, we want to um, uh, take the duplicate special tool. We want to rotate this in X, um, 72 degrees. And I want to have four copies. And uh, so that should work. Okay. So there you go. We got our five bolts in there. So now let's take care about the little vent, okay? For that, I'm creating another cylinder. I'm rotating rotating that again, 90 degrees and Z. 
and uh, let's bring that down to somewhere we need it uh, somewhere down here, scale that down Okay. so now let's say yeah I pull that away a little bit more so now let's uh, say we want to extrude a few faces here, select the back faces and then extrude those out first of all scale that extrusion in and then hit G to repeat and then do another extrusion like this so now we can delete the faces on the back we don't need those um, let's add a few splits here one here one there one there and finally one here let's hit 3 so yeah I don't like this stuff here that's gonna be fixed if we put another edge loop in here yeah it's not looking perfect but okay to fix that easy select the faces here in front and do another extrude and that's going to be scaled in as well. So to have more geometry here, that should help. Yeah. All right. So with that done, now let's uh, bring this uh, into its final position. I think. Uh, let me turn off that uh, X ray here. So I could scale it down a little bit more. So now again. Um, I hit Control G to group so that I have the pivot here in the center of the grid and now let me rotate that guy to bring it in place somewhere about there okay oh, to be let's just um, type in here minus 10 degrees so that should um, that should be perfect perfectly in the middle so now let's um, select that piece so don't select that group or select that piece and then put that in there and now we might want to rotate that I think it's a little bit too large scale that down take a look from here yeah it's still too large in my eyes so like that and now we could uh, actually we could rotate that guy um, somewhere about here and then move it up yeah something like this okay so now um, we select the, the bolts and um, the vent and we put uh, a material on it so let me go here to the box and say okay we get uh, group one two, three, four, five, and group six. So that's all j that we just uh, modeled here. So now open up the hypershade and say, okay, create another mental ray material and another X passes. And then say, okay, um, hit control A, go to preset and go here to Chrome replace. And uh, let's put the Chrome um, shader onto the stuff that we just selected here. So okay let's again select those one two three four five six and then uh, say right click go down here assign existing material and then say okay it's um, the the last material expresses that we made all right so now we can uh, go one step further and um, start um, tweaking uh, the final render okay